Picture this. You have all of your information, photos, everything on your newer iPhone, but for whatever reason, you need to get all your stuff onto your older iPhone. This iPhone's running iOS 16, and this one only supports up to iOS 15. Now the issue with Apple's backup system is that once you make a backup on iOS 16, for example, you can't restore that backup to anything lower than iOS 16.2, for example, being the version that this phone is running. Typically, Apple would not allow me to restore the backup of this iPhone to this iOS 16 iPhone 6S. But in this video, I'm gonna show a really simple and easy way to get past that and do so even though Apple doesn't really want you to. Like I said, it's really simple. You don't need any third-party software. This can be done on Windows or Mac. I'm gonna be using Mac for this, but it's relatively straightforward. And let's just go ahead and get started with it. Now, this is the example phone that I'm gonna be making a backup of and restoring onto iOS 15. This is an iPhone SE second generation running iOS 16.2. Now this doesn't have the original home button, so I do have the assistive touch enabled, which you'll see will transfer over to the other device. Now this has a white screen as it was pulled from an iPhone 8, but I assure you this is an iPhone SE second generation. Now before I do this, I just wanna show what I have on this phone to use as proof for what's transferring over. So the only app I have installed is simply YouTube. It was the first one that came to my mind when thinking of something to put on here. The wallpaper is just a simple picture of the back of the iPhone 6S that I'm restoring the backup onto. Now the phone does have a few pictures on it, those being a zoomed out picture of the iPhone 6S, the one that was used as the wallpaper, picture of my iPhone 14 Pro up on a tripod, a screenshot of the home screen, and a screenshot of the settings page. So now it's time to get started with the first step of this tutorial. Now the first thing you need to do is connect your device to your Mac or Windows computer. I'm using a Mac, so if you're on a Mac as well, this tutorial will be easier to follow with one. Of course, just like usual, you're gonna need to back up your device. So you'll connect it. Once it shows up, of course, you'll have to trust the device. And then you can scroll down and click on backup now. This should be relatively quick as there's not much on the device. And as soon as this finishes, in just a moment, we can continue with the rest of the tutorial. As you can see, the phone's now backed up. Now, if you're on a Mac, this is where you're gonna want to go. You want to go to your user folder, go to library, application support, mobile sync, and then backup. I already have it typed out. I'll have this in the description and I'll put the appropriate path for Windows down in the description. Once you're here, you wanna look for the newest folder. In my case, it's the only one as I deleted everything else here to make this simpler. The newest folder will be, of course, your newest backup. You wanna go ahead and open this folder. You wanna scroll down until you find info.plist. On Windows, you wanna use a dedicated plist editor. On Mac, I'm just gonna use Xcode as I already have it installed. And in my opinion, it's one of the best ones. And you just wanna go ahead and simply change the product version in the info.plist to a version older than what you're restoring onto. Now I have not tested this between gaps larger than just one iOS version. The phone that I'm restoring onto is an iPhone 6S running iOS 15.8.2. So I'm gonna change this version to iOS 15.8 as you do wanna keep it pretty close. You don't wanna go unnecessarily low. So 15.8 should be perfect. We'll go ahead and do command S to save the info.plist file. We'll go ahead and close it. Now it is time to unplug the phone that you made the backup of. And it's time to go ahead and plug in the phone that you want to restore the backup to. Now I have the iPhone 6S plugged in. It should show up in just a moment. And to keep track of my phones better, I'll rename this to iPhone 6S. Now, once your phone is connected in Finder on Mac OS or in iTunes on Windows, you'll scroll down, click on Restore Backup, and select the newest backup or of whatever your phone was named. We'll click on Restore, and the Mac wants to go ahead and erase the phone before it restores it, so we'll go ahead and allow it to do so. As soon as this finishes erasing, it will restore the backup from our iPhone SE second generation, and we should have everything from there on here. As you can see on the Mac screen, it no longer says it's working on erasing the phone, and ideally soon the phone should boot to the setup screen and it should start restoring our very minimal backup to the iPhone 6S. Now, like I said, I have not tested this going further than just one iOS version, and I have had issues with iOS 17 backups, if I manage to figure out these issues, I will make an updated video or a part two to this, but I wanted to just get this tutorial out as soon as possible. Now you can tinker around and try to get iOS 17 backups working perfectly. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but when making a backup of my iOS 17.2.1 third generation iPhone SE, 
and trying to restore it to either iOS 16 or 15, it throws an unknown error and I can't seem to figure out why. As you can see, the iPhone 6S has now loaded up to the setup screen. The Mac is now restoring the iPhone 6S from the backup and it should complete soon. As you can see, the iPhone 6S has entered restore mode and it's almost complete. It looks like it has completed restoring the backup. The phone will now restart and should have all the information from the iPhone SE second gen. Now the phone will take a moment on this second progress bar once it reboots. Don't worry about it taking a little while. This ideally should not break your device, but be careful with what you do and don't do anything crazy. And do not mess around too much with the other files inside of the backup as it's a really easy way to completely kill your backup. That progress bar has disappeared. The phone should now reboot and have the info from the iPhone SE second gen. As you can tell right off the bat, we have the assistive touch. It says restore completed. We'll go ahead and continue. And we'll continue without Wi-Fi. We'll skip touch ID, we'll skip the passcode. We'll agree to the terms and conditions real quick. Enable location services. Looks like my good old iPhone 6S decided to freeze up. We'll just give it a moment. Looks like location services finally decided to enable. It says welcome to iPhone and now we can get started. So the first thing you probably noticed is that the wallpaper did not sync up from the other device. And that is because of course, if you know, the iOS 16 wallpaper system is completely different from the one on iOS 15. On iOS 15, you can set a singular wallpaper and on iOS 16, you can have as many as you'd like and select from them. So unfortunately, backups from iOS 16 and if you get 17 working, 17 to below 15 will not retain the wallpaper. So that is one downside. You can see the YouTube app has transferred over as well. I've connected the phone to Wi-Fi and put in my Apple ID password so that the apps could sync up and my Apple ID would log in. And you can see that those photos we took on the other device are also on the iPhone 6S. Here we have the picture of the phone. Close up, 14 Pro, the screenshot of the home screen. It's really weird to see iOS 16 on an iPhone 6S and the about info. Now this process isn't perfect, but it is definitely helpful. Now iOS 17, from what I've tried, I haven't had success getting to work for lower versions like 16, although I have gotten 17 to work with lower versions of 17. For example, I have my backup from 17.3.1 on my 14 Pro restored to 17.2.1. And I've done 17.4 to 17.3.1 on my 14 Pro as well. So I'll make an updated video if I find some new information that would probably be helpful to this. But for now, this is where the tutorial ends. Use this at your own risk. As long as you don't erase the device that you've backed up, there's no risk of losing data, but messing around with your backup files is a good way to kill your backup, so be careful. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video or found it useful. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing as as of right now, only 26.7% of my viewers are actually subscribed. So if you're new, hit that subscribe button. It'll really help me out a ton and will help me in reaching my goal of 4,000 subscribers. Anyways, enough yapping. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and as always, peace out, guys.